good morning, Professor Alexander. Thank you very much for coming to the University of Girona. I have some qu questions for you. Uh, what do you think you, has been your more influential contribution to science? Well, I think it has been uh, the, uh, <clears throat> that I contributed to the creation of this new subfield of ecology called numerical ecology, where we tried to put together uh, all the uh, methods developed by statisticians and by ecologists as well to analyze ecological data. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And what, what would you recommend to young researchers for a successful scientific career? Well, first they should uh, find something that they like to do in science. And when they have found it, they should uh, look at the literature and study everything that has been written about their field and then sit down and use their imagination to find how to develop that field by asking new questions and finding new ways of answering old questions. Excellent advice. And how do you think that has open access software and our environment in particular influenced research and data analysis? I think it has changed our life as ecologists and uh, not, not our life in terms of comfort, but in terms of the sort of questions we are now able to, uh, to address. We can address much more general and important questions, in part because more and more data are becoming freely available, and also with the R environment, because more and more powerful statistical methods are available to everyone, and they are free. And do, do you think that data analysis in scientific papers is often not optimal or wrong? And if so, why and how can we change this? Uh, I think my whole career has been uh, orientated towards changing this situation. In the old days, ecologists uh, received very little formation in statistics. So they learn for, from their neighbors, uh, their, their, their immediate uh, colleagues who were using this or that method. So they were doing, and they were trying to apply the same methods to their data. Uh, now, uh, with this uh, movement of numerical ecology, we have been trying to explain what all these statistical methods are and uh, where they are available and how ecologists can use them in their everyday uh, work. And finally, why is ecological research important to society? <clears throat> I think uh, ecological research is uh, the, <clears throat> the science of the 21st century. Uh, either we do develop uh, our understanding of ecosystems and uh, try to make uh, the impact of human beings less on these ecosystems or we will disappear. Thank you very much.